Welcome to the post-game press conference of Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Hamilton Bulldogs and the North Bay Battalion. For those of you watching from your TV North Bay and for those of you streaming from CHL TV, welcome. Winning tonight's Game 5 nothing and sweeping the East Conference fi Finals to make their way to the OHL Finals is the Hamilton Bulldogs. Joining us now is head coach Jay McKee and captain Colton Kammerer. Congratulations, Coach. How does it feel to now win 12 straight playoff games, sweeping all three series, knowing that the Memorial Cup is now in sight? Um, it's a good feeling, obviously. I think our, our players, have, uh, as a staff, we're proud of the work that they've put in. Uh, it's taken a lot to achieve what they've done uh, so far. Um, obviously, and it's cliche, but a lot of work still ahead. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a great feeling in the dressing room and some emotions that we'll carry with us moving forward, uh, celebrate it for a night, and, and then get back to work. Colton, a very, memorable, a very memorable moment for you and your team tonight. How does it feel to lift that Bobby R trophy with this special group of guys? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a great feeling. Um, you know, we, we knew before the series it was going to take everyone in that locker room, and I, I think that's what we did all series. Um, you know, every game you saw a different guy step up, um, and that's what it takes to, to win a championship. Um, and we look, we look to keep doing that as we go forward here to try and uh, win the league and, and head to Memorial Cup. Uh, Coach, one of the themes that you've touched on a lot, uh, of course, has been the respect you have for North Bay and, and the respect you have for the other teams. The four-game sweep here, you know, uh, lifting the Bobby Orr Trophy here in North Bay, just talk about the compete that the battalion gave you in this series and, and your thoughts on them moving forward. Yeah, no, they're, you know, we saw through our pre-scouting that they, they're a fantastically coached hockey club. Um, you know, th their season was incredible. Um, re really took us being on our game every night uh, to win the way we did. Um, thought they really pushed us, especially uh, last game. Um, tonight, I, I thought we came out the right way. And, um, you know, when you're down 3-0, uh, it's, it's a tough hill to climb. And, and we wanted to try and take their will away early by uh, being really hungry and relentless. And I thought our guys did a good job at that. But, yeah, I know we have a ton of respect. Uh, you look at the season they had, um, you know, some of the point production that their top players had. Uh, just a fantastic hockey club, uh, fantastically coached. Uh, Colton, yourself, you know, being a captain, bringing leadership to the team. What does that mean to be a captain of a team that's one of the that's going to be one of the last two standing coming up? And also, you know, how do you kind of rein the guys in after a four-game sweep leading into a, a final series coming up? Yeah, it's it's an honor for sure. Um, I think it, it's it's tough to do do it how we did it, and I think you have to be ready to go every single night. And I think that's what made our group special is that. For me as a leader, it was easy to keep us focused um, and the pedal down each and every night. Um, now tonight, we'll probably go celebrate as a group, uh, have some fun like, like we love to do, um, and then come to the rink Monday ready to go again. Last one for me, Coach. Uh, how do you now, I know you want to savor this one, but how do you kind of prepare for it's one of two teams? You don't know who you're playing as of right now. Well, more of the same. You, you prepare to play both. Um, you know, I, I'm fortunate to have a fantastic coaching staff uh, alongside me. My assistant coaches uh, do a tremendous job, um, you know, uh, re-watching all of our games and, and going over the, the opposition. So we'll pre-scale both those teams, put together a game plan against both. And, uh, you know, we're fortunate to have a little bit of time and rest to heal some bodies and uh, rest up and, and, uh, and prepare. It's uh, certainly an advantage. We'll uh, be able to sit back and watch those games. Uh, intently and uh, be as, as prepared as we can be. Colton, there was a lot of talk after game two about how much harder it would be to come and win two more games up here in North Bay. What were the messages, especially heading into game four, when you guys had the opportunity to earn that rest now with at least a week off before the championship series starts? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the message was just not to take the foot off the gas. Um, we knew they are a great team over there, um, and we were going to have to bring our best. Um, so we just stay focused every day, try and uh, get this group ready to go for each and every game. Um, and that's, yeah, that's how we look at it. What does this mean for the city of Hamilton? I mean, you know, you, you know the area quite well. You've been, you know, with the club for a while. You're the captain of the Bulldogs. Just what do you think it's going to mean when you guys get the chance to celebrate this in front of your fans? Uh, it's awesome. Hamilton's a great city. Uh, we got great fans. Um, it's, it's a blue-collar, hard-working city, and that's, that's how our team plays. Um, I think that's why the fans get so into it and why Hamilton supports us so much. Um, and that's, that pushes us as players. So um, it's huge for the city, huge for the players, and, and we're all excited.
coach, last one for me. Uh, Jan Mishak, guy who had not scored in the playoffs coming into tonight, comes away at the hat trick, kind of the engine that drove you guys all night long. Just talk to his play and what it means to you know finally see him get one in the net because you know he wanted one. <laughs> yeah, Jan likes to score. Um, you know, he's been playing uh, very good hockey leading up to tonight. Um, you know, maybe a little bit snake bitten, had uh, some really good chances in the past couple games, but. Uh, he, he's a player that even if he's not scoring, he's very effective. He's uh, using his feet, using his size, and uh, and, and creating. So um, you know, we felt like he was going to break out at some point, and, and fortunately for him and us, he did tonight, and and had another really good game, and, and ended up rewarded. Coach, obviously not the outcome you were looking for in this series, but nonetheless, still a very strong season by your team. Could you tell us a little bit about your overall thoughts on the team's performance this season? Yeah, you know what, uh, obviously the series didn't go as planned and, and really how we wanted it to go, but uh, we really can't have this put a cloud on what a spectacular season we've had. Um, I'm so proud of this group of guys that literally every single day has done everything we have asked from them. I mean, I've been coaching a while now in this league. Uh, both as an assistant, as a head coach, and, and even three years as a player. I've never been around such a fun group to be around. Each and every day, these guys are so tight. They made our job real easy and um, just really proud. You know, if, if you look at our, our second half of the season, last 28 games, I believe, of the regular season, and then, you know, the first few rounds in playoffs, we were a heck of a hockey team. And I was proud of these guys each and every day. Liam, you had the opportunity to captain this year's team. What does it mean to you to not only lead but be a part of this special group of guys this season? Uh, yeah, it's an honor, as uh, Coach really said. One of the best uh, teams in the Italian franchise. So, I mean, you know, it was a special moment every day showing up to the rink and something I won't forget. And uh, it's a learning experience for next year. Uh, Coach, a lot of experience for your younger guys getting this far in the playoffs. Just, I know you're going to be losing some big guns up front, and it's it's sad to see them go. But moving forward with the group that you have with this experience, we'll speak to that, what that means, and, and how excited you can be for the the future of this team. Yeah, for sure. I, I think already, you know, this happens, and and we're already looking forward to, to next season already. We we don't like being off for the summer. I know it's it's uh, you know well earned, and and we'll do that, but. Um, we got some really good pieces in this in this organization. I mean, holy cow, management with, led by Adam has done a fantastic job drafting players and, and made some really good moves here that uh, things look really good for us. You know, guys, of course, need big summers. Um, I think we're, we're going to be a team that, you know, coming into this season, people are going to know about and all that. So we're going to have to raise our level. This was really good learning for us here uh, to watch a celebration uh, in our rink. Um, and, you know, we want to grow and we want to be that. Uh, Liam, your first season with the team, you know, the team was last place for most of the year. And now you're, you know, we were four wins away from the no HL finals appearance. What does that mean to you as a player and a younger guy on this team that getting this experience and really, truly your second year in the OHL? Yeah, it was huge, you know, uh, especially coming from the first year, weren't one of the top teams. And now this year, one of the top teams had a good chance. Uh, something to look forward to uh, next season and just remember this feeling. Coach, when you look back, I mean, it's you're you're a guy that's really going to understand how good this Hamilton team is. You just game planned against them and did all the pre scouting. What about this Hamilton team makes them so tough to play against on a night to night basis? Well, I'm probably going to say a lot of the same things I said coming into this series. We knew they were really good. We knew they just don't have any mistakes, you know, you, uh, or any holes. They've got really good depth. Um, they got a bunch of older pieces. They made some really good moves at the deadline to, to kind of, you know, add to what they already had. And um, they're built really, really well. Uh, I think uh, they're going to be real hard to beat. And Liam, you're inside the room. You're a leader on this team, but you know how important that overage group was to your guys' success this year. Talk to the group of guys that won't be coming back, you know, just how important and, you know, the seasons and success that they had at that level. Uh, it's hard to sum up in words what those guys meant to us. Uh, Lad, Rasko, they're all great guys. You know, they're going to be very missed, and I uh, wish them all the best.